guys, welcome back to a new vlog on my channel. Oh my gosh, today is 70 degrees. I think 70, no, it's 72 degrees. I am not lying, it was literally 15 degrees and snowing last week. This is not healthy for humans and the earth. Like, this climate change and global warming is getting so bad and it's really scary. But anyway, yeah, what a way to start off the vlog. So um, I'm making myself an iced coffee to go because, you know, since it's so freakishly warm outside, I thought I would have a nice iced coffee and I love my La Colombe cold brew. It's been a long time since I've gotten one of these and drank this. But yeah, so I'm making my coffee to go because I am getting some errands done today. We are gonna get ready to go to the Bahamas. Today's Friday, we're not leaving until next week, but I just wanted to get everything done now because the couple days before the trip, I wanna just relax and not do everything at the last minute because in the past, I've saved everything for the last minute, like packing, running errands, getting my beauty errands done. So I wanted to do everything ahead of time so the day before I can just do nothing and relax because we have a really early flight that day. We're gonna have to wake up at like four in the morning to catch our flight, so. The day before, I'm going to bed at like 7 p.m. I don't want to do anything. So we're getting everything done today. And I love this little bamboo lid, um, beer can glass, whatever it's called. Mm. So the plan for today is to go out right now. My first appointment is to get my eyebrows threaded. So we're gonna go there. I'm gonna leave in like five minutes to go to that appointment. And then I'm going to stop by the store. I need to get some mini deodorants and toothpaste. So we'll probably stop by Target for that. And then I also need to go to Sephora to pick up a new foundation because I am all out of my shade. I've been using a super, super dark foundation that does not match me. I mean, maybe when I get tan in the Bahamas, it'll be good. But for now, I want to get one that matches my tone. So we're going to stop by Sephora. And then I have to actually go get my tires pumped. I'm going to go over to my parents and stop by, say hello to them because I haven't seen them in a couple weeks. My dad's gonna help me pump my tires. I normally know how to pump my tires really well. I've done it so many times, but the air pump that is here in the apartment, they have like a free one here. I went there yesterday to pump my tires and I, like I said, I've done it several times before, but when I was doing it and I checked the air tire pressure after I pumped the air in, into it, it was like lower. So my tires were actually deflating. So I don't know if maybe I, I was doing it wrong or, if the machine is broken, but air was coming out. I don't know. I was getting so frustrated. So I don't know, but I'm going to go over and I'm going to have my dad help me. <laughs> Does anyone else have their dad help them with car things? Because I just can't. Um, and then I'll come back home. And then I also have a nail and pedicure appointment a little bit later on. And then another thing I want to do is I want to self tan, even though I know I'll get tan there but I want to be tan before you get there like you know what I mean does anyone else relate to that you know tanning before you go on vacation because I want to be tan already there and typically I do that two days like I'll self tan for two days in a row to kind of build up the color that I want so yeah that's the plan a little pack and prep with me for Bahamas we are so excited to go I keep looking at videos on my phone of the resort and all the photos on their Instagram and it just looks so dreamy and I will be vlogging that trip. I'll share all the details of our vacation when we're there. Um, and that vlog will probably be up the first or second week of February because um, we come back on the 4th. So sometime after that, I'll upload that vlog. But anyway, I'm going to head out now with my coffee. We're going to go get my eyebrows done first and then run all my errands. Then we're going to get my nails done. I'm going to probably do some tips and maybe do like a really bright red color or maybe a, I don't know. I'm gonna just wing it and decide when I'm there, but I definitely want some long nails. I always love getting long nails for trips and we're gonna do something fun. Uh, and yeah, so stay tuned. I'll bring you guys along with me. super good nice and clean they always do a really good job here at the place that i come to yeah eyebrows are done on to the next errand
Hi guys, I'm back home. All my errands are done, taken care of. I also got my nails done. I'm so obsessed with them. I wanted to get French tips with white chrome. That's what I asked for. So I don't know if you can really see the chrome. It's very subtle. It's a very subtle chrome. Um, but yeah, I just wanted something classic and something that would match with all outfits and kind of just a neutral nail design. So we went with the classic French tip. I haven't gotten French tips in like two years. So I feel, I feel all girly and fancy. And I also got a pedicure. So that's all for my beauty errands. I'm also going to wax my upper lips. So I did pick up a waxing kit from Target. I picked up a bunch of stuff actually from Target and then also from Sephora, just a couple of things. So yeah, I did get the Flamingo face wax kit. This is the same one I've been using for the past couple years now. I love it. I really love this brand too. I also like their shaving cream. It's like a shaving mousse and it's really good with my sensitive dry skin. But yeah, these come with ready to use wax strips and you don't have to heat them up in your hand like a lot of the other ones out there. They're just ready to use. You just like peel it apart and that's it. You can just use it on anyone in your face. Like, you know, you can use your unibrow, your upper, upper lip, or maybe like peach fuzz, even though I haven't really done that. Um, but I just use this for my upper lip. It also comes with post wax cloths and this like aloe serum. It's like a cooling serum to help after you do the waxing. So that's what the strips look like. And then these are the wipes. And then it comes with this little balm or it's a calming serum with aloe vera. So yeah, I love this little kit. It's the easiest way to wax my upper lip. I wax my upper lip like probably once a month or once every other month. Um, just when I feel like I need it, but I definitely want to do that before I go on the trip. Okay, and then we picked up some sunblock. It's not travel size, but we go through so much sunblock. So we are checking in a bag. So I'll just put this in the checked bag. But yes, definitely need some sunblock. And then I picked up this disinfecting mist. This is kind of big. What is this? 3.3 fluid ounces. The limit is 3.4. So I guess I'll put this in the checked in bag too. But I like to disinfect hotel rooms everywhere I go because... You know, even though they clean, I don't know if they clean it very well. So I like to just spray this all over the place, like on the surfaces, on doorknobs, and then on all the handles, like on the toilet seat, um, the like faucet, what do you call it? The sink, you know, I like to spray this everywhere that we would be touching uh, often. So yeah, I do that every time we go to hotels. Um, this is not for travel. I just needed to pick up some more cleansing cloths. Picked up a deodorant for Anto. He's just... Um, out of it and then I got a mini deodorant for me for the trip Got a couple of makeup removers. We got the Neutrogena makeup wipes and then the Garnier micellar water I prefer this um, especially with my eye makeup with mascara and eyeliner this stuff really helps but sometimes um, After I cleanse my whole face I want to use like one of these wipes to kind of just like get the remainders from the edges because sometimes when I use a facial cleanser, it's really hard to get like the edges and then your neck. So I use these to kind of just um, as a last step when I'm removing my makeup and I just kind of like wipe, you know, all through the edges in my neck. And I got another hand sanitizer, obvious reasons. And then lastly, I picked up a travel size toothpaste and that's all from Target. And then from Sephora, I just picked up two things. I did get my foundation and I was having a really hard time choosing which foundation I wanted to get because I have a couple favorites. One of my favorites is the NARS and I, oh, I can't remember the name of it. I didn't find it in store. I don't know if they don't carry it or if I just missed it because sometimes I can't see well without my glasses. It's the, yeah, the sheer glow foundation. I couldn't find it in store. But that's one of my favorite. Oh, they're all out of stock at my location. That's why I didn't see it. My second option was the Kosas one. I really like that foundation. But then I remembered how much I love the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. This was my go-to foundation. I'd say like a couple years ago, maybe 2020 to 2021. This was the only foundation I was using. And my color has changed because like I said, I'm not as tan as I used to be. Um, I got the color sand, which I think is a good match. I was like testing it in store and putting on my face, making sure that it was a good match. So I think this one is a pretty good match. So I think for the trip, I'm going to bring this, which is my shade right now, but I do plan on getting tan and going tanning. So um, I'll probably bring a darker foundation, which I have one that's pretty dark. Um, I haven't been able to use it because it doesn't match my tone right now, but it probably will when I'm there. So I think I'll bring two foundations. 
And then the last thing I got from Sephora, this was like a fun little thing I wasn't planning on buying. This is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's the Shimmer Body Oil. I wanted something to put like on my shoulders, on my, you know, like clavicle area, my my chest and my neck, you know, not too much though, but I wanted something to wear when I'm there on vacation and, you know, after a day of being bronze and tan, I wanted something to put on for like the nighttime to give myself an extra shimmery glow. So it's a spray and it's a really pretty gold champagne color and it's super sparkly, but that's what I was looking for. That's what I like. So, oh, do like a swatch. I don't know if you can tell because it's kind of dark in here, but um, it's kind of hard to see. Okay, I guess you can kind of see. I don't know, <laughs> but um, it looked really nice on in store and it was super glittery and just really pretty. So I definitely want to bring this with me on the trip and um, put this on like at nighttime on my shoulders specifically because I have a lot of outfits that I'm going to wear that are sleeveless. So that's everything that I picked up. We got all my errands done. What I want to do is I want to get a workout in and then after that I want to shower and do like an everything shower. I want to completely exfoliate and cleanse my body. Um, and then I want to do a self tan and then I want to start packing. So I don't know which one I should do first. I just had lunch. So maybe I should pack first so I can let my stomach digest the food. I don't want to work out right away. So I think we're going to do that now. We're going to start packing, organizing my outfits and putting everything together. And I think that's all that I have to do today, right? I wrote down a to-do list. That's really all I wanted to do. And then for the next couple of days, I just have on my to-do list to finish up work. I have a couple of videos to edit. I have one more video that I want to film, like a sit-down video. It's going to be a what's in my travel bag because I got a new travel bag. I'm so excited about it. Let me just show you guys right now. This is my brand new totes. This was a little gift to myself for my birthday and also I had to like justify this purchase. I was like, okay, I worked really hard during Vlogmas. It was a big month and I'm rewarding myself for all that work and also it's my birthday, so that's why I bought this. And this is the medium size. I was debating between this and the large size. I'm so glad I got the medium size because it's just perfect and I plan on bringing this as my carry-on bag. And I also got it customized, personalized. Steph, that's my nickname and fun fact, I spell my nickname with F's instead of the PH. Um, I don't know why, that's just how my family has done it ever since I was a child, um, ever since I was a baby. My like parents, grandparents, everyone in the family, they would spell my name S-T-E-F-F. -F. So every time someone spells my name S-T-E-P-H, I get a little like, Ugh. it used to bother me a lot. It doesn't bother me at all anymore. When I, when I was um, younger, it used to bother me when people would spell it S-T-E-P-H. So fun fact, that's how you spell my nickname but yeah so this is the bag i'm gonna bring and i got this on the dior website the personalization was free on the website so yes i already kind of packed it a little bit and i have like an organizational thing in there um i was just so excited when i got this bag i like packed it up already so i have most of the things in here that i'm gonna bring with me on the trip and yeah it got this little organizational compartment or little thing in here to put in there i got that from amazon and then this is a scarf i'm gonna bring with me on the trip because first of all i think it would make a really cute little bandana for when i'm at the pool or the beach you know you can wear it like that i think that would be cute i like the colors of it and most importantly it serves as like a cover on the top of the bag so that you can't see everything in there but i do have this little organizational um compartment that has a zipper and i plan on keeping my wallet and passport and important things in there so that it's not easily like you can't just like pick it up. You would have to like unzip it and stuff like that. And then everything else. Yeah, I'm gonna do a, actually a what's in my bag and it's gonna be a separate video. So I think I'm gonna try to film that tomorrow once I um, pack everything up and I'm ready to go. So that'll be a video probably after this. So stay tuned for that. Oh my God, I'm so corny. I had this like on the side of my bed when I was sleeping because you know, when you were a kid and you get a new toy and you're so excited for it, you just wanna sleep with it. Like at Christmas time when you would get something new, you wanna sleep with it because you're so excited and you just wanna look at it every every day and every morning. That's how I felt about this bag. So it's been sitting next to me on the floor next to my bed so I can look at it before I go to sleep and look at it when I wake up. But yeah, I've had my eye on this tote bag for a long time and I really debated against getting it because I thought it was just too flashy and I didn't like all the logos. But I'm so glad I got it because it's amazing quality. I love the material and it's practical. I mean, it fits so much, the medium size. They also have a small one and then I think a mini one. There's like four different sizes, I believe. So I'm glad I went with the medium. Um, I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it. It'll be really cute on the beach. So yeah. <laughs>
I love it. But okay, so now I think I just want to start packing. I kind of just want to get it over with. So yeah, let's get to it. I'm going to go grab my suitcase. Oh, my suitcase is actually um, upstairs in our, we have a storage room in the building. It's two floors up and I think onto a suitcase is there too. So I have to go grab our suitcases up there, bring them down. Um, onto will probably pack in a couple days. He usually waits till like the day before, two days before I pack. I like to pack like days before because my packing is a lot more intensive or what's the word? It's a lot more ex elusive and I don't know what I'm looking for. Basically, I put more energy into planning my outfits and packing. So anyway, okay, let me go get my suitcase now. I'll show you guys our storage room. It's really not that exciting, but people always ask where I store all the decorations. Like I got a few questions about where I stored our Christmas tree and our Christmas decor. We have a storage room and everything is up there. So let's go, let's go check it out. Okay, so this is our little storage room full of junk and this is all of our decor. All the Christmas stuff is there. Our old mattress is there. I kept that because, I don't know, just in case we need a mattress one day or if someone we know needs a mattress, I just kept that in case. And then our Christmas tree and honestly, just a bunch of like decor that I don't even know if I'm gonna need. I might need to clean this room out soon. Anyway, I am here for our suitcases. I just spent the past like 45 minutes trying to pick out my outfits, trying everything on, making sure I like how everything looks. And I like to do this because I don't like to overpack and bring things that I won't wear. I only bring outfits that I know I'm gonna wear. I only bring shoes that I know I'm gonna wear. And I like to pair the shoes and the bags that I'm bringing with the outfits that I'm wearing so that when I get there, I don't have to waste time deciding what to wear, what shoes to wear with my outfit. So I like to do all that work before I go. So I'll show you guys how I kind of organize everything and kind of my thought process when I pack. So yes, you may think I'm an overpacker, but I will be wearing every single one of these outfits because I will have a pool outfit and then a night outfit and then you know some day outfits. So these are my bathing suits, my daytime pool outfits and I included the cover-up I'm gonna wear with each bathing suit and then the sandal I'm gonna wear with each bathing suit. I don't think I'm gonna bring all these sandals. I think I'm gonna just bring two of them. The only reason I have these two is because they are so light, so I know they won't add too much weight to my suitcase. So bathing suits are there. And then these are my going out night outfits. I have four of them because we're staying for four nights. And then um, the shoes in the bag I'm gonna wear with each. For these two outfits, I'm gonna wear those same shoes and same bag. Um, and then for this outfit, I'm not sure which bag I want to use. I don't know if I want to use my new um, Nano No or if I want to use that clutch they got from Run the Runway. So I'm going to have to decide before I pack because I'm not going to bring both. Um, I'm leaning more towards the Nano No. Is that how you say it? I don't know if that's how you say it. Um, that was an early birthday gift from Anto. I had my eye on that bag for so long. I'm so obsessed with it. It's so cute. I haven't worn it out yet. So um, I'm thinking I want to debut it on the trip and then yeah, that's the last outfit and then over here I have my accessories I'm gonna bring these sunglasses and then this jewelry this bucket hat and then this is a sunglasses organizer It's kind of like messed up because it's been banged around in um, Several of my suitcases, but this is from Amazon. It holds five Sunglasses and you can roll it up and it's a nice way to organize them So I'll put those in there and then I have a jewelry organizer which I'll put all my jewelry in that um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I'm gonna bring and then over here. I have just like some extra stuff These are casual clothes. I have some shorts and tank tops in here I have a pair of white linen pants just in case I want to dress casual I have a pair of workout clothes I'm bringing a sports bra and some leggings in case I decide to work out Oh, I need to go grab a pair of sneakers that reminds me I have a couple pair of pajamas my undergarments are in here and that's all I'm gonna bring in terms of clothing. So I'm gonna pack this all up now. I probably won't bring that many toiletries and all my toiletries are minis. So I am confident I can fit everything into this suitcase.
probably the fastest I ever packed. Granted, it took me the longest to like prepare and prep everything, but in terms of packing all the clothes and all the toiletries, it took me less time than usual. So yeah, these are the three little toiletry bags I'm gonna bring. This one is just makeup and it's the base, what is it called? Convertible cosmetic bag, something like that, but it has two um, sides on it. So yeah, that's all the makeup. And then this is the toiletry bag that has everything like all the you know shampoos toothpaste things we need for the beach makeup remover lotion all that stuff my contacts tied to go pen body wash literally everything and everything is like mini trial size so i can fit everything so i have like a little mini comb here my little mini shampoo and conditioners i have a disposable razor um i put the glimmering body oil there um i'm also bringing oh i forgot i had another lysol so i'm just gonna bring this and save the other one for later and then all of my like hair products are minis as well all the leave-in products so i have this little mini k18 hair oil which i thought would be perfect for traveling and then i also have a mini leave-in conditioner spray this is my favorite leave-in conditioner spray from way so this is the mini size so perfect for travel i'm only bringing i think like two skincare products i'm gonna bring the road barrier restore cream for moisturizer i'll use that both day and night it's a really moisturizing cream and then i'm going to bring the lms superfood facial oil so i also use that both day and night um, and i think i'll be good with that i have a body lotion so yeah everything in here oh yeah also my friend gave this to me for christmas i got this in the um secret santa gift exchange you guys remember that vlogmas so this is one of the things i got it's the sol de janeiro bum bum cream but it's a cute little mini size so it'll probably last the whole trip and then the other thing that i got on that gift was this little mini spray which smells so good it's the black amber plum and vanilla woods so that'll be my scent for vacation and then also for perfume i have this little mini um j'adore the dior perfume smells so good so i'll be using this at night and that's all for this toiletry bag it is the most convenient toiletry bag and then it also has a hook i think it's uh right here so you can hang it up so usually when i go to hotels i hang this up on the hook that's behind the bathroom door so i keep the counters clean everything's just hanging there it's easy for me to see everything at once so i am obsessed with this bag i got this from amazon i'll link it below and then like i said this one is from base and then in this little teeny pouch i have all of the like supplements medical stuff oh my god i have another geez i have so many of these so we'll definitely be disinfected but i brought you know some allergy medicine my ag1 greens i have a bunch of these travel size ones so i'm gonna bring some of these with me some liquid iv i have band-aids in here i have most of my medical stuff actually in my carry-on bag because i need all those things with me oh i think i'm actually gonna add more to this i want to add some more of these ag1 um supplements and then also the symbiotica one so i'll also bring some of the symbiotica elderberry in case we need a little immune boost the activated charcoal they say that this is good for when you're drinking to help support you know detox and your liver i'm gonna bring a couple of mint teas in case i have upset stomach i'm bringing a few of the let me de bloat gummies i really like these because i really feel like they help with de bloating um, when I eat, you know, salty foods, which I'm probably gonna not eat the best on this vacation. So um, I'll probably eat one of those every morning. And then, yeah, the AG ones. And then a couple of these Alka-Seltzer hangovers, just cause like when I have one or two drinks, I get a headache instantly and get hangovers. It's so bad. Um, so we'll probably, you know, have a couple drinks on the trip and I most likely will need that. <laughs> Hopefully not. But yeah, that's all that's gonna fit in this little pouch. And then I also have Advil, Tylenol, and all that other stuff in my carry-on. feeling it's gonna be like 
40, it's gonna be 45, ah, it's 42 pounds, we good. I forgot what the limit is, is it 60 or 50? I know it's definitely not 40, so we're good. Hi you guys, so since the last time I vlogged, I worked out, took a shower, just washed my body, not my hair, and then I also self-tanned my body, I don't know if you can tell, um, it kind of shows an immediate tan, um, but I think it takes about eight hours for it to kind of build a little bit more. And the self tanner I use is from Loving Tan. This is the Deluxe Bronzing Mousse in the dark color. And this is one of my favorite self tanning mousses. I've used so many different brands. I've used Josie Marin, Saint Tropez. Um, I'm trying to think of the other brands that I've used. Oh, the Tarte one. I actually used to love the Tarte one. I still really like that one. But out of all of the ones that I've used, I feel like this one is one of the best because I love a mousse as opposed to a liquid or a spray because it applies really easily. and. And every time I use this, it gives such a natural color. It's not orange at all. It's a nice kind of deep olive bronze. So this gives a really, really good color. So obsessed with this. I got this from Ulta. I think they sell it at Ulta, also Amazon. So we're done with that. Now what I want to do is I want to wax my upper lip and then I also want to self tan my face because this is just for your body. This is not for your face. I use a separate product for tanning my face. But first, before I tan my face, we're going to uh, wax my upper lip with the wax kit that I just got today, the Flamingo Wax Kit. It is super easy to use, and that's why I like to wax my upper lip at home as opposed to getting them threaded, because every time I get my eyebrows threaded, they always ask, oh, do you wanna get your lip too? And I say, no thanks, I'm just gonna do it on my own, because it's super easy to do it on your own. I used to use the Sally Hansen ones, and those you had to take the strips and warm them up in, in between your hands to activate the wax, but this, you just peel it. I just apply it like that, rub it in. So then I take one of the post wax cloths and then I just kind of put it over the areas. It gets rid of any excess wax. And then finish off with the calming serum and it's like a little roller bomb. Squeeze and roll. I'm gonna put on some aquaphor in my lips just to help soothe it a little bit more. I'll put it around my lips on that area. Okay, so for my face self tanning, I use the Isle of Paradise self tanning drops. These have been my favorite self tanning drops. Again, it gives me such a nice natural color and glow. It does not make me look orange, more like a natural sun kissed look. The way that I apply this, I add a couple drops into my moisturizer and I apply it to my face with my moisturizer. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my full skincare routine, my nighttime skincare routine, cause it's about like seven o'clock right now. This is uh, the first aid retinol, a couple drops of the L'Oreal Midnight Serum. And the night cream I'm going to use is from Dime Beauty. This has been my night cream for the past week and a half now. I've been loving it. So I'm going to add maybe like, sometimes I overdo it. Sometimes I put like a whole dropper, maybe like half a dropper. So I just get some moisturizer on my hands and then add a, yeah, like half a dropper to that. Mix it all up, blend it in together, and then just apply it all over my face. You can also apply it directly to your face, but I feel like it's a more even blend when I mix it in with my moisturizer. So on the days when I want to get really tan, I'll do this morning and night, but I think once a day is enough. And then I also make sure I bring it down to my neck so that my neck can get that tan too. And then always have to wash your hands after with soap so that your hands do not get orange. So I'm going to probably do that whole routine, my self tanning with the Loving Tan Mousse and the Isle of Paradise drops. I'm gonna do that whole routine probably again tomorrow, um, and then I think I'll be good. I think I'll achieve the tan that I want, and then when I'm there, 
on vacation, I will get a natural tan. So I will link my two favorite self tanning products in my description if you guys want to go check it out. So I'll also link my packing cubes, everything I use like for my organizational compartments, you know, my toiletry bag. I'll try to link my suitcase and um, just let me know in the comments what else you want me to link that I showed in this vlog because I can't remember everything else that I showed. Oh yeah, also the stuff from Sephora I'll link. So that's all for my packing and prepping for vacation. So like I said, we're going to leave in a couple days and the next few days I'm going to just honestly work, work, work because I won't be working there. I'm not bringing my laptop with me and I just want to be able to have a couple videos to upload while I'm there. So I'm trying to pre-record and edit a couple videos to have ready to publish like while I'm there all I have to do is hit publish so yeah I have a very busy next couple days catching up and finishing up with some work and then some last minute things that I need to do um, but other than that that's pretty much my whole routine for prepping for a vacation so I can't wait to go to the Bahamas and vlog that trip for you guys it's gonna be a really fun vlog so I hope you guys are excited for that but stay tuned for another travel related vlog coming up after this one i'm going to post my what's in my travel bag so stay tuned for that and then of course stay tuned for the vacation vlog thank you guys so much for watching i will catch you guys on my next one mm -hmm.